If you guys are tired of staying in the water when you're taking a shower because your drain's plugged, I'm going to show you how you can very easily fix that here today. Unlike what a lot of these brands want you to believe that you can just dump that solution down there and it's going to fix your problem, nine times out of ten, that product's only going to get rid of 10% of that clog. I'm going to show you how to do this the right way by just using a screwdriver. All right, so the first thing we'll talk about here real quick, I'm not picking on this specific brand here. They all advertise that same dissolves hair and grease. My experience with products like that, if you're working in a kitchen sink where you have grease built up in the pipe or the garbage disposal, those products work pretty good. However, if you're working in a bathtub like we are here, it's not going to dissolve all the hair out of there. You might have a drain that's clogged 90%. That might help your clog get to 80%, but it's not going to solve your problem. And not to mention, those products are getting kind of expensive where they're $10, $20 for the bottle. So if it's only going to fix 10% of your clog, that's definitely not worth it. And not to mention, if you call a plumber, it's going to be two, dollars $300 when if you just have a screwdriver laying around, you can do this yourself for free with very little effort. So let me show you how you can easily do this here. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to remove the drain stopper. There's various different versions of these. Some have a set screw in here. So if you lift this up and you see a screw in there, just go in there and gently loosen it. Now it's very important you're not removing that screw because you don't want it to fall down the drain. But after you loosen that up, it should allow this top to pop off. On this specific model, it's a twist off version. So what you do on those, you close the drain like that, then you're simply gonna twist it off like that. Then after you get the stopper removed, you're going to look in there and I'll give you some close-up pictures. There's a lot of hair and just a lot of stuff that gets built up, especially in these shower drains. There's a couple different methods on getting this stuff out. Sometimes you can just reach your hand in here and you can get some of it out like that. And I always wear gloves because some of this stuff is nasty down here. So you're going to slowly start pulling things out of there. This is where you can use a screwdriver as well, or you can just use something as simple as a household butter knife like this and just get in here and you're gonna slowly start just picking this stuff out of here. I'm gonna warn you, when you're doing this, there's gonna be a bunch of nasty stuff coming out of here and you're just gonna slowly start pulling that all out of there. until you get to the point where it's all broken loose. One comment I'll make here real quick, on the bottom of the drain here that connects the drain to your stopper, there's kind of a cross down there. And a lot of time hair just overhangs over that. The best way to get some of that off is just take your knife and just go across all four of those corners and just kind of cut that hair so it'll loosen up so you're able to both pull it out and there will be some that's going to go down the drain, which is okay. You just don't want big chunks going down the drain because you don't want to risk clogging anything else down there as well. So just keep going through there and eventually you'll get it to the point where you'll get a lot of that out of there that you'll be able to, you know, run a little bit of water. Then it'll wash the remaining of that debris down the drain. Then it should clear your clog. Alright, so as you can see, we've removed quite a bit of material here. Once you get it to the point where you can see the bottom of your drain down there and you can see your PVC pipe, then that's usually a good telltale sign that you've got everything removed that you need to. You're going to still see a little bit of black debris and stuff down there. When we turn our water on here in a minute to kind of flush that out, a lot of that will disappear. So you don't need to get it 100% clean. You just don't want any hair still staying down there, hanging over that cross bar, etc. there. But once you get that clean, then the next thing we'll do, we'll clean this stopper up a little bit just to make sure we get all the debris off that as well. Then we'll be ready to run the water and flush it down to just make sure that we got everything cleaned out of there that we need to.
The next thing we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and turn our water on. I typically use hot water and this will kind of help wash some of that debris down. But as you can see there, it still has a little bit of black debris down there. But when we turn this water on, it should flush a lot of that down. Sometimes you got to go back down in there and kind of break a little bit up with your hand. But eventually you'll get this flush clean. All right, so as you can see there, just by running that water for a little bit, it flushed the remaining of that debris down the drain. And we did confirm that it's not plugged anymore as the water kept going down there. Then the last thing we want to do is just reinstall our stopper. And after you confirm that seated in there correctly, you've successfully completed your job here. So hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching.